Okay. Thank you for bearing with me. I think that solved that. I'm still down a second monitor. But that's okay. As long as the stream is not laggy or glitchy or buffering or 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 or. <sighs> Watching now, am I lagging on my phone at all? I do not appear to be. How am I coming through to you guys? No lag. Yay! <sighs> All right. In order to make do with uh, only one monitor, I am going to have to hide the chat for a second so that I can actually uh, watch some things on my phone. <sighs> hey, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to, to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Um, so going forward, I have noticed in previous streams that I tend to talk loudly. Um, which volume probably, uh, probably you know, handles, uh, mitigates a lot of the actual loudness of my actual voice and stuff. However... I am going to be attempting to talk more normally rather than trying to essentially shout myself at the camera even though my microphone is literally right here on my face. Um, sorry if that made a loud noise just then. But just as a heads up, if you guys hear me like starting to sound like I'm getting really loud, uh, just like, like I'm shouting to try to be heard from a long way away or something like that, Please say so in the chat. I am attempting to fix that in myself, and because I don't want to be like that angry shouting streamer online or you know whatever. Now the occasional one, like if I'm reacting to something or laughing about something, that's fine. But if I'm like just casually shouting into the distance, <laughs> let me know, please, 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 please. Now, I'm going to take a second, and I hope you all join me. I'm going to take a second and hydrate a bit before we actually get started. I'm going to enjoy some of this beautiful Assassin's Creed music. And just relax, because today's been a bit of a day. <sighs> Drink some water. Hydrate. Relax. Stretch your shoulders and back and neck and relax anything that you might be clenching without necessarily realizing it, like your jaw or whatever. Um, as a reminder, I have Nightbot in this stream. I am a loud-ass man. Now, I'm now able to see the chat again, by the way. I am a, I am a very loud-ass man. I'm also an old-ass man. I fully agree with you on that, uh, Yvonne. Um, <laughs> I appreciate the good vibes that you've sent. Um, but yes, I have Nightbot in the chat. Um, it should be... Oops, wrong command. Uh, it should be... Uh, able to take commands and stuff. I just sent a... Um... Oh... Old ass man because of yelling at the camera. Yeah. Yeah, that's that too. Also, I'm still getting used to this whole thing. Like, I think I do it even in... Like, even when I'm just... Yeah. No, that's accurate, actually. Because... Oops, sorry, one of my Funko Pops that I have up here was near falling off. and Or, or falling over. Anyway. Um, the... Uh, stay put, Barbara. Stay put. Um, I'm a heckin' nerd. Anyway. Um, yeah, because I do that even when I'm on, like, Discord and just casually chatting with people. I don't do it when I'm with the f on, a, on the actual phone because it registers as a physical thing that's right here on my face, you know? 
it's just that I'm so used to having a headset that I don't talk into or I don't think about the fact that my microphone is right there that I'm projecting to the camera and it just comes out like I'm yelling and I'm trying not to do that anymore because of reasons. Um, <sighs> oh, I should, yeah, rotate that before I forget. Anyway, um, but yeah, Nightbot in the chat commands. They do. Uh, they it, it pops up things like um, my socials, my Discord, uh, people I promote, things like that. Um, I have posted the command uh, the commands for the commands in the thing, and it has a link and all of that wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, oh, should I? I'm going to keep it like this rather than swap back to the Twitch control menu. That way I can actually see if something happens with my stream. Um, should plug in my phone so it doesn't die on me, though. That would be a good idea, probably. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let time. Let's take a leap of faith and hope that this whole that this works out. Um, okay, so, last time on the stream, uh, one of the last things I did was I, actually, I think I did, I, did I do it on the stream? I don't remember. I am now doubting my memory. Actually, I am going to swap it over to the, to the, oh, what's it called? The stream manager. Thank you. That way I can see how many people are viewing. Ah, is the chat room testing? Hey, Yvonne, if you're if you're still watching, could you reply to that chat so I can see if um, <laughs> Streamlabs just messaged me saying, so here's your stats on that stream you did. And I'm like, which one? I just did, this is my third consecutive one in like five minutes. All right, good, good, good. So sometimes I have trouble with the stream, the mobile phone uh, Twitch stream manager thing, not properly showing up and doing things. So, okay, I'm glad that that's working. But yeah, so last time uh, we fully upgraded the we fully upgraded the Monte Regioni. We purchased all the p available upgrades um, right at the end of the stream. Although I, I don't think I did it out of stream. Because I remember talking about how next stream I was going to do essentially a tutorial. Not a tutorial, but like a walkthrough type of a thing. But yeah, so as you can see, we've got, um, like, by that guy, by these two guys right here, these two very buff gentlemen. Um, the one that went that way and that one. Um, that We've got the mercenary place now. Um, that's over here somewhere. Um, I think. Unless that's the Thieves, Girl, the Thieves Guild. As you can see by the, the very specially dressed ladies like this one right here you can see that they uh that i have unlocked the courtesan's place which was the first thing i unlocked if i remember correctly um there's another mercenary and there's also uh thieves wandering around uh because of the thieves guild that i have unlocked over here is the um Oop, i am so sorry sir pardon me um over here is the uh monteregioni's courtesan hall Okay, I did it on the stream. Good, good, good. That's what I thought. Um, Courtesan Hall, you can tell because of all the red um, fancy curtains and drapery and stuff and the flowers and everything. That's how they distinguish these uh, locations and towns um, in this game. Um, they, they also have the, this type of a garden on the roof type of a thing. Um, with each location, and, and you can see up there the tower that has the courtesan guild symbol on it. Um, and over there is, oh, there's the mercenary? Or, oh, it's okay, Ezio. I'm sorry for landing you onto those stairs. Um, I just got like three emails in a row, so my phone keeps buzzing next to my hand and I'm going, what? <laughs> um, I think this is the Thieves Guild. Uh, nope, Mercenary Hall. This is the Mercenary Hall, because they got training dummies and stuff. Um, and, uh, and you can see up there the Mercenary Guild symbol and stuff. That means the Thieves Guild is on the other side of town. But yeah, so with each of these locations that we, um, repaired or built up, built up, uh, one of these towers got repaired and built up. Uh, you can see one over there with the, uh, 
Assassin's Creed uh, symbol uh, symbol flag on the top kind of doesn't have a front on it, but that's okay because that was intentional. Um, it's because there's another one over there that's the same way. Um, basically, with the completion of that, that with those uh, they allow me to get up there and get to the uh, chests that are up inside those towers, um, locking essentially rewards for unlocking different places. Um, now. Bye, Pat. Come on. There we go, Ezio. That time I did try to uh, did mean to actually try to throw you onto the floor. All right, drop. There you go. Gonna try to do a quick tour. Not gonna take too much time with this if I can avoid it. Oops. Um. All right. So we also upgraded these um these sh all the shops in town. Um. I don't think I need to actually stock up on anything. Um. Which means that I get a massive. A massive uh, discount from these stores um, and also it physically changed the buildings so like they've got various decorations on them that they didn't have before like the flags and stuff uh, they also have a second story which they did not have and they all and every build oh not every building but most buildings in this place now look a lot shinier and newer um, as you can see with the side of this building is not vine covered and and falling apart like the rest of that uh, this one's got a second story to it um now and i also because i'd completed story missions i had uh new things to per that i could purchase available in stores so like i got a new knife belt upgrade which allowed me to carry five more throwing knives uh which i know i did not do on stream i did it after the stream because i was running out of time when i was here the last time or something like that um I don't think I have anything new. No new paintings here. Yeah. Most, if I remember correctly, most places don't gain any new paintings. In, in each town doesn't gain any new paintings. Um, it's just that you get the paintings by going to new locations, if I remember correctly. And I don't think they get any new maps, although I could be wrong about that one. And the doctor... Okay, well, sheep's urine. Sure. Okay. Um... This was the bank, which was one of the first things I maxed out. It's it's got a second floor and it's all decorated and nice looking. And um, here's the the blacksmith. That's what they call them. I'm um, as you can see, I have new set of van braces. I have the next. I unlocked the next uh, the next level up of the van braces of the armor. They they unlock pieces at a time rather than the whole thing. So we've got all the leather. We've got all the whatever that word is. Um, and then the metal van braces, which is full plate. Well, technically half plate, but anyway. Um, it also unlocked a couple of new weapons. Um, uh, the yeah, the flan the flang flanged flanged. I don't the mace and the scimitar. The scimitar is what I currently have equipped. Um, I also unlocked uh, this. Which increases my my um, melee punchy unarmed. That's the word unarmed damage. I also increase unlocked this one, which is my favorite design of knife in this game ever. Um, let me let me actually show it off a little bit because uh, I love the design of this. Pull the, there it is. Look at that. Look at that beautiful uh, that beautiful dagger there. Um, its design is based loosely loosely on the uh dagger of time from the prince of persia series um and the uh um oops wrong button uh uh, loosely, and the reason for that is because the Assassin's Creed series, the original concept of it was it was going to be a sp uh, connected to or a spin-off of the Prince of Persia series. Uh, the assassins were going to be like the special, these special uh, were originally based on the concept of these special um, uh, bodyguards for the prince of the of the game series. Anyway, so yeah, I, per I bought a bunch of stuff from the black the blacksmith and unlocked a bunch of stuff. Um, now, overall, since I have completely un I have completely um, upgraded the whole town, the whole town itself is generally cleaner and generally nicer looking. Um, 
generally like there's all these none of these buildings have vines on them anymore they were all covered in vines and stuff uh because i got the well repaired there's actually water in this thing uh in this fountain here and um you can see that the auditore family sig sigil which is what that is with the assassin's creed logo on it um is all is clear of vines and everything um now if we go up here you can see that this is a, a bit more manicured and a bit more well taken care of um then coming up here you can see the biggest most visible differences is in the manor itself um you can see that it's got all its windows open and lights on and banners and there are no vines hanging off of it and big thing big important thing it is now in the same instance as the rest of the map so it is these doors are open which means it does not require loading to go from one place to the other anymore which is great all right so in here we have uh you'll see that you know that this is just showing off the stuff that i just talked about with the new uh the new sword the new dagger the the metal cestus i think is what it's called which is the the gauntlet for punchy punchy damage uh the new maces and then in here you'll see that the bracer of the previous set of armor is sitting here and that i have a black set right over here um and uh again with the no vines and stuff um i'm gonna pick up the money since i'm here um, is it weird that you missed the vines? I mean, no. Um, it gave it a bit of an aged, distinguished feel. But the perp the point of this is uh, of the upgrade was to rem was to give it a bit more of a uh, tour uh, to increase tourism and stuff like that. Um, I don't think I've unlocked any new paintings since the last time I've given a painting tour. Um, actually, I have unlocked a couple. But I don't remember which ones because there was there was one or two that I couldn't buy from. Uh, oops, get get up, get down. Uh, there were there were one or two that I couldn't buy before from San Gimignano. Got a got a lurk D and D studying. Yeah, I'm. I don't think I am gonna put a lurk command at least until I get affiliate. I don't know. We'll we'll see. But yeah, okay. As long as you're you don't have to interact as long as you're paying attention in there. And by paying attention, I mean, you know, absently listening. Anyway. Uh, did I already put? I did already put. Okay. Um, and then the next thing, the last thing in the manor is Ezio's room, which I don't think is overall any different. Or Ezio's steady or whatever. Um, and but you can see now that his windows and stuff are actually open and i can now look out and see the actual town and stuff and that's because it's all in the same instance and everything um but you can see things oh an eagle just landed on the outside of the place okay that's what that sound was um and you can see the people the portraits of the people that i have murdered so far so we've got the uberto alberti Vieri de Pazzi, Federico de P uh, Francesco, Francesco de Pazzi, not Federico. That's right. And the rest of the Pazzi conspirators here, with uh, Jacopo and um, fuck, I don't remember the rest of their names, but that's okay. Um, and since I'm trying to be quick about this, oop, drop. Yep. Uh, e Ezio, get off the wall. There you go, sir. All right. Now I am also Ezio drop there you go i'm also oh i did already drop them off okay um i can interact with these and uh do some puzzle solving with them but i'll, I'll save that for later because there's a point in the story when oh, damn it there's a point in the story where it becomes relevant to do that so i'll save it for then anyway so that's enough of the manor now we go over to... I've not shown you the Thieves' Guild yet. Um, so let me go do that. Um, uh, 
just as a general heads up, I am not currently in my Discord um, because I have Discord closed so that it's potentially not affecting things with the internet and stuff. Um, Thieves Guild, Thieves Guild, over there. Um, okay, so as you can see there's on the map, on the mini map, there's some treasures up here, which I have not gotten, but I will not get them on stream because timing. Um, this is the tower for the Thieves Guild over there, but this is the actual Thieves Guild. Uh, you can tell because of the green and the, the stuff. Um, drop. There you go. Uh, the Assassin's Order in the mythos of the series uses the Thieves Guild of each town to gather information and deliver messages and the like. Uh, they use the mercenaries to uh, as extra muscle and antagonizers for co uh, for uh, cover and stuff. And they use the and they've at, the and the courtesans to uh, as distractions as well. Really? Again, it's already been. I guess it has already been 15 minutes. I'm gonna go late because of the fact that I fucking started way too late. Anyway, one of the places that I have updated recently uh, that I unlocked in this, I mean, uh, in the other stream, was this church. This church was boarded up and locked down, and it's now open and all clean and everything. And now I could go up there and get those two. Uh, chests which i will go ahead and do that way i don't have to worry about it later up and over and let's try not to think about the fact that i am looting two chests out of a church that's okay they had too much money in the past anyway in, in the renaissance italy era anyway okay Oop, i am so sorry sir but yeah, so the assassins have actually allied themselves with, like, the courtesans and the mercenaries, and the actual lower tier, um, while I'm talking, I might as well do this, um, the, and, and the, the lower class, essentially, they, they've, they've allied themselves with the lower class, um, because the Templars tend to work t for the good of the upper class, while the uh, um, assassins work for the good of everybody, and for the justice of everybody, and the fairness of everybody. And, um, you know... <clears throat> anyway, ah, nope, 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 I'm not going to let myself go up there. No, no, no. Because if I do that, then I'm wasting time. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that was, hold on, let me check the map real quick. That was the church. I showed you the guilds, the shops. Okay, so we've got the mines, which are back here with these treasures over here. And the well, which is in these treasures here. And I can get, I'll go ahead and wait for the next, uh, for whenever I'm done with this stuff to grab the money out of that. Alright, so let's do the well first, because it's right here. And does not require me to jump off out of the building, out of the out of the town there we go uh and then so let's go down underground descending into the deep all right so th that that entrance was uh covered in boards and stuff before and uh was not being maintained at all um so this is a bit of a parkour section that you go through in order to get to those treasure things um, and then you climb down and come over here and then you swing and jump and then I believe yes you come over here and then around and around and uh, do I jump here nope okay and ow that hurt okay Okay, let's try that again. All right. I'm trying to remember where you jump from there. Oh, right. This button. There we go. Oop, oop, oop. Oop, oop, oop. All right. Um... Okay, so I can't go there. I will end up over there eventually. Okay. I do know I have to jump here, though. Oh, do I jump? 
I just there we go. <clears throat> that little ledge hit itself in the in the whatchamacallit. Okay. And then up here, then over here. And then two, three. And then these two treasure chests. Ah oh, man. And then drop. Ezio, come on. There you go. Okay. And up we go. Okay. Now, we've already put... Uh, one of the... Our first visit here, I put, I found and put up these statues, um, which un unlocked treasures and stuff like that. Through this grate is the, it, this is how air gets down into the the sanctum with all the assassin statues. Um, now, if I remember correctly, there should be a bale of hay somewhere here. No, or is that later? <laughs> I think that's later or a different game or something whatever it's okay cheesing it a little bit but all right this is the the gated exit where i come out of the auditory family crypt and is what is later the later revealed to also be connected to a an exit from the sanctum a secret exit um Ezio. Okay, so let's see if I can find the... There it is. Here's the mine. We'd been through here before. Um, and Or, I think... I think we were in here before. Um, but it was this was all caved in and collapsed and stuff. So we'll uh, do another yet another one of these parkour puzzles. Bypass that one, because it's unnecessary. This one is simpler than the mines. Not the mines, the... What's it called? The well. Just because... I mean, the other one was pretty straightforward, but... I doesn't mean that I'm good at what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I'm... Anyway. I'm just being hard on myself. That's, that's not what I said. Oh, phone. There we go. Alright. Sorry about that. I got a notification and tried to dismiss it and got the wrong thing to happen. And drop. All right. And that's all of the um, results of the Monte Regioni updates uh, or upgrades. And there are horses over here, so I can just ride them back quickly. Um... So now if I check the map, you'll see that there's really only a couple of thing, a couple of um, treasure chests left for me to get. And they're just stuff from the towers. And I'm not going to mess with those uh, this during the stream. I've already done a lot more uh, treasure hunting on this stream than uh, probably would have been preferred by some people. But I was just wanting to give people, anybody who may not have seen it, the different, the tour of the, some of the differences of the upgraded Monte Regioni versus the unupgraded. And while it may not be directly story, it is, you know, things that you unlock in the game that affects the game and stuff like that. Alright, so we're back up to here. Um, jump off. Uh, let me go get that. I, I need to repair my armor uh, before I go anywhere. And let me get that, uh, the money that ticked in a bit ago. Okay. Um Did I already? Yeah, I did. That okay. should do, I hope. And please All right. come back often. Um then back up here. Let me let me double check that I don't have anything else that I need to unlock. I don't think come. I do. Let's see how well you fight. I don't think I do cuz I think there's a thing that I have to unlock. Yeah, the pistol. 
I have to unlock the pistol before I can actually do anything with that, and that's... Uh... Yeah... Okay. Yes, it's best we take a break. Um, another big change that comes from upgrading Monte Regioni is the general weather of Monte Regioni changes. Um, it becomes... Previously, it was a bit dull and gray and oppressive and kind of just depressing a bit. Um, now it's uh, that tends to be a bit more sunny, as you can see. It's you can it feels less uh, run down and barely surviving and more well surviving. All right, so now we'll, uh, if I remember correctly, I have to go back to Florence. Let me double check, which is the, yeah, Florence. Okay, so we will... Do the quick travel to Florence. Um, we were there earlier, and Leonardo is not... We were there at the end of last stream, I remember, because that's where I logged in when I was doing stuff. Um, the uh, And we noticed that Leonardo is not there, even though I have a codex page that I need him to unencrypt. Decrypt? Decrypt, that's the word. Um... And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, he's still not there, but that's okay. Um, we've completed Florence, more or less. Actually, let's, let's take a second and go through the DNA. Oop, 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 oop. Okay, so we've gotten... Okay, we've got Sequence 6 coming, which is what I'm about to start. Uh, 30 out of 73 viewpoints. 20 in Florence, 1 in Monte Regione, 9 out of 9 out of 9 in Tuscany, and then Romagna Forli, which is where I'm about to be sent. Uh, and then like I said 20 20 out of 27 out, out of Florence. There's a you much later in the game you get the bottom segment across the river of Florence. Um, secret locations uh, there is an there is an uh, an assassin's tomb in Forley that I'll be getting to, hopefully soon. Uh, all the feathers in Florence, all of them in Monte Regioni, all of them in Tuscany. Um, currently, I've defeat I've com accomplished all of the beat up missions currently, all of the races, oops, and all the assassination missions currently. Courier missions and 71 out of seven tre uh, 71 out of 71 treasures in Florence, 24 out of 27 in Monte Regioni, and we you can see on the map where those are. So I'll get those after stream. So next week those will, those should be um, completed. And uh, 46 out of 46 treasures in Tuscany, and then Forley when I get there. All right, so allons-y. Uh, up to the objective marker. <sighs> Let me just... I'm always paranoid that I'm misremembering that, you know, different... That all the stores have the same stuff. I'm always paranoid about that. Um, let me check this... Oh, wait. It won't be in an alley. Will it be in an alley? It might be in an alley. It's not gonna be in an alley. He's mad. Yeah. But it will be over here. There we go. Let me quickly check this. Confirm, because sometimes I I don't always remember everything accurately. Ah! Here we go. I do have a new treasure map. The Apennine Ep Apennine, I guess, mountains? Okay. Um, so that's a new place of treasures that I will be getting eventually. Um, and again, no new paintings. Uh, so yeah, they do update the treasure maps, um, depending on progression in the game, sometimes. Um, Come again. there are some that you can only get in each individual city. So, like, I could only get Forley's 
from Forley, and I could only get Tuscanies from Tuscany and stuff, and Florences from Florence, and Monte Regioni is from Monte Regioni. Um, and as you saw, I could only get the Apennine Mountains from here, as opposed to uh, Monte Regioni, because it was not listed when I checked it earlier. All right, so he's on the, in the inside of the courtyard. I would go up over the roof, but ah, Lorenzo de Medici. Medici. The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio. Thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. No, Again. the beautiful Venice. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. Which means I'll still gain notoriety, but it will be at a much reduced rate. La fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Fortune, I believe he just said fortune favor your, favor your blade, but I wasn't exactly paying attention. All right. Medici Cape. Will not increase in Florence or Tuscany. Hey. All right. I also, I love that design, too. I love the red. Okay. Um, pardon me, signore. So basically, I could legitimately just, you know... You know, hey, look, I just, you know, picked a bunch of pockets and did not gain notoriety. So, you know, that's great. Um, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. That's what I'm doing. Hold on. Where is this trying to send me? Okay. Ah, something that I forgot to sh that I don't think I ever showed on stream. I think I mentioned it, but I don't remember actually showing it. You can return to the Auditore Villa in Florence, um, which, you know, and if you do, you know, it's home. Don't worry, man. Okay. Okay. So it's taking it. This is why they didn't have Leonardo here earlier, is because it wanted to take me here. I am not going to go in there just yet. Um, I am, however, going to go down to the Auditore Villa, which is yes, up ahead. Okay, almost there. If you'll indulge me in this. Okay, so I am now at the Auditore Villa. Um, it's not as bad as it would be earlier in the game, because I waited. Um, but basically, up to this point, when Ezio has been decreed friend of Medici, and chased, essentially, the Borgias, uh, soldiers out of, um, Florence, the, uh, Auditore Villa was constantly under Templar guard. Um, there were, there were archers const around every, like... Every corner of this place had, like, three archers, essentially. And while it was not guaranteed death for you if you showed up here, but, like, if it was definitely an ambush in waiting if you came in here. Um, and I will, I, will, I will admit that there were a couple times I did come back here out of habit from earlier in the game when I first played this. Um, and just because I used it as a... Uh, uh, a way to find myself, uh, find my way around the map, you know. Um, but the, uh, especially to find my way to Leonardo's when it wasn't marked. Um, but, 
yeah, it would out of habit I would use that as a key, as a point of reference, and it would uh, the after the whole family thing happened, I ended up. Uh, there were several times I ran through there and accidentally died because I was not ready to be Leonardo. ambushed. Leonardo! It is Piace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the Maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. Oh. Yep, around this point in time... In history, Leonardo moved to Venice from Florence. Let me check the blacksmith. Hey, man. Uh, okay, yeah, no, nothing new here. Probably not because I haven't accomplished anything new. Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. Okay. All right. Ooh, no. Wrong person. Stop. Stop. Sorry, dude. Wrong, wrong person in a fancy clothing. He went up, didn't he? Yeah. Keep away from me, please. Bingo. Ooh, that's a lot. Last couple of times I've done that, I'd only grabbed, I'd only gotten um like eleven hundred. Anyway. To, hold on, where is where am I going now? Okay. Okay, it's actually sending me up here. So alright. I would like quick travel somewhere, but I eh. at this in this particular game at it due to the fact that I have not already been to this location, it's faster and easier for me to uh to run to uh, through Florence to get there, as long as I don't get lost, which has happened a few times. Pardon me, coming through. I'm not stopping for your asses. Let's go. Ooh, not that button. Good thing nobody was within range. I would have just accidentally assassinated somebody again. I've killed more civilians in this playthrough on stream than I have. <laughs> I am so sorry. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to push that that time. The first time was more or less on purpose. Um, but yeah, I have killed more civilians in this playthrough of this game on stream than I have every time prior to it combined. Which is hilarious to me. Like, I'd, I'd had it happen a couple of times where I just accidentally clicked the button. Um, but I had not actually, you know, done the thing on purpose. And this time, like, I'd always managed to get a hold of it, is what I'm trying, a, hand, a handle on it, is what I'm trying to say. However, in this particular, <laughs> because I'm live on the internet, and ta have talked so much shit about how good, how familiar with this game I am, and my, uh skills with it and the like that's when of course everything is going to go wrong Leonardo Ezio what luck I uh, ever run into a bit of trouble <laughs> let me see if I can help I know how to fix it but lack the means to do so if you could just lift the wagon <laughs> Such a good boy, such a good what friend. Is this thing, eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <sighs> what is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. But Real things Leonardo did have discovered. Real things the real Leonardo da Vinci discovered and worked on. Built the first helicopter, first submersible. They didn't all work, but he was on the right path and wasn't exactly wrong. He just didn't have quite the 
far enough technology for it. Imagine what he'd be able to do in today's world. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borges' men. Why? What do they want with us? Less you, more me. Less you, more me. Hide, and so instead he goes down into the very open ah, carriage. They're trying to climb on board. Knock them off. Watch out! Don't let the carriage roll over. Oh, look, another guy. No unwanted passengers, man. Ezio, someone's on top. Don't worry. Oops. Uh, nope. Nope. And I'm gonna go through another one. There we go. Okay. Uh, it could be worse. Oh, you fuckers. Rip. Survive the Borgia attack and reach Romagna. Romagna. Gonna make it, not gonna make it through that one. Okay. Oh, and another. Okay. Sorry, horses. I am so sorry. Uh... Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> and into another bit of debris. I am so sorry, you horses. Actually chasing us into Romagna. Romagna. There. Go, Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. All right, fuckers, bring it, bitches. I see him, not you. Come on. Come on, fucker. Die! You tired him off. What are you waiting? Now! This one is no fool. Ow, come on. Come on, Ezio. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be shy. You are not the person I tried to call. However, I will kill you. Remember your training. Drop the sword. I will take that. And I will kill you. And I'll drop that. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Oh, sword. There we go. That's what I've been trying to do. <sighs> uh, 
Okay. Alright, so it wants me to go that way. However, I'm going to take this second and look at the map. Alright, so I got... This is the Eponine Mountains. Uh, this is where I got the map for the treasures for. I'm not showing... It's not showing them on the thing, so I'll probably have to come back for them. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. I'll do it, you know, off stream. Uh, I'm going to take a horse. I've unlocked races, assassination contracts, <laughs> more side missions! Actually go anywhere okay first viewpoint there there's the assassin's tomb objective marker all the way over there and I have more money in the villa Okay, now, I remember there being somewhere. A, uh... Huh. This way? Do I have to do something else first to unlock it? I am so sorry, dude. I didn't mean to make you scared of me. Well, alright. Oh, I bet I I bet I remember where it is. Alright, so let's um let's bypass that for a second. Uh how do I get into Forley? I don't remember. Sorry. There we go. There's the opening I was looking for. Uh, yeah, still no sign of what I'm of the other thing I was looking for. That's okay. That's okay. So let's um dismount. Ezio, dismount. There you go, sir. Thank you. Um. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Stay back. Surely there's no need to be rude. Pardon me. Coming through. Forley! <clears throat> Found- wow, that was a long time ago. 798,000 BCE by the Paleolithic cavemen who were interested in flint man manufacturing. Forley- <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Forley has been an industrial center ever since. The name comes from the Romans. Um... That thing, 188 BCE. Um, keep going back. Come on. 1050, 13th century, and stuff like that. Okay. Bring our man a flagon of wine, All right. I need... Well, that's exactly right. what I need right here. Dude, watch out. Paintings. Hey! Okay. Birth of Venus, Jupiter and Io... La Fornardia! Fornardia! The Fornardia! And for Aslan! Um, 32 florins for that one. I mean, it is... I can see why. But anyway, um... And then Eve. Okay, three graces, and yeah. Alright. Let's get the most expensive one. Which is the birth of Venus. Jupiter and Io. And then... 
the La Fornania, the Lida and the Swan, the Three Graces, and Eve. All right. That's every painting I can currently get. Treasure map, Forley, Romagna, and oh, Apennine Mountains for if I hadn't gotten it in Florence. That's the one. Uh, Forley is the town. One is the town and one is the region. I don't remember which. I think Forley is the town and Romagna, Romagna is the region. I think. I don't remember offhand. Okay. So now looking at the map. Forley. Yeah. I think it just it just labels it as Forley overall, but I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure Romagna is the reason uh, the region maybe not. All right, that's a lot of fucking treasure chests, which I will not be fucking with in this uh in this uh stream. Okay, I do want to get that tomb if I have time. Um, oh, dude. I love that he just straight up charges my ass. <laughs> Stay back, guard! Charges my ass and, and shoves me over. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. I love that I spent all that money and I barely and I'm and I'm still loaded. Oop, Ezio drop. What's the okay. is yours? Spare me, sir. I am just a servant. Don't worry about it. I am down. See? See? I'm down. Okay. Ooh! Exactly what the other thing I was looking for. Repair. Thank you. Do I have any more armor that I've unlocked? Nope. Any new weapons? Probably not. Small weapons? Nope. Do I need to get any more ammunition? No. Okay. Ah! This one has another... Uh, there's a glyph here. Um... The ro ro Roca? Ro Rocha? I think that's just Roca. The... Raveldino. Okay. 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 There's a... As you can see with that symbol and the sound effect that popped up, there's a glyph there that I can go exploring. Caterina Sforza that mentioned that with, four, uh, with the... Forley one earlier, uh, Cesare Borgia. The Citadel later became the refuge for Caterina Sforza from an attack by Cesare Borgia, Rodrigo Borgia's bloodthirsty son in 1500, which is after where we're currently set, because we're still in the 14s, I think, the late 14s. Doesn't really seem like a fun place to hang out now, does it? Eh, maybe. Okay. And that would be that, right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, because it's a glyph, and those are important. All right. Now then, where where would I be if I were a glyph? I don't really remember. And I could pull up the map and make this quick. Nope. I will not let myself do that with the chest. Um let's see. Oh, oh, that was almost bad. Um, another treasure chest. Okay, hold on. You know what? Fuck it, I am going to pull up the map. Um, no momento, por favor. Bear with me while I... Oop, this button. And then I want... Where's my streaming folder? There's my streaming folder. And then Assassin's Creed 2... Where are you? There you are. Is this the right one? No. Shoot. Which one's the right one? There it is. All right, so now let's change this to... Poorly. Okay. Now, I am, where am I? <sighs> I can't see where I am. <laughs> okay. I think I know where I need to go for this. Um, 
Yeah, I think I just saw it actually. Yep, it's right over there. Unless that's a feather. Could be a feather. Yeah, it's not even here. Okay. Alright. Actually, guys, I will be right back. I... <laughs> I will be right back. I have to pee. And I don't want... Yeah. Anyway, I will be right back. <laughs> And I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, things go faster and easier when I'm not uh, distracted. Although now I am distracted. Twitch, why are you? Oh, 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 that's right. That's right. Helps if I'm looking at the right thing. All right. And then back over here. Okay. Hmm. I I need to. Okay. I need to get that. Um. Okay. So in addition to the treasure chests around Forley, um, and in Forley and Venice. You'll see these covered uh, canoes or whatever the fuck they're called um, that have a bunch of stuff in them. And you can loot them and get like 10 or 20 florins and stuff like that. Basically about the amount of like uh, pickpocketing people through by walking through a crowd. Um, and the... Uh, so you could, you know... They're, they're, they're not treasures. They, they, they're... Permanent supplies of money, of, of small amounts of money that you could grind if you really needed, like, hard cash type of a thing. And it's, uh, I used to go through and pickpocket everybody and, and, uh, try to get every single one of those, um... And, and try to get every single one of those, uh, canoes and everything, but they would just respawn, and it was a lot. Oop, 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 oop. Bravo, bravo. You, Fiore. Up. 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 And is it the... I think it's this. <laughs> I think it's the tower, not the crucifix. Not the crucifix, the cross. <clears throat> Is it crucifix? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't really care. I mean, no, I do kind of care. Proper English and all that. But anyway. 
All right, so map is officially finally updated. Now let me see what the fuck. Ah, oh, there's a codex right there. Okay, there's a, um, viewpoints in very in places. Um, I'll probably go for this one. All right. Now, before before I do anything else here, um, I'm not quite ready to to actually devote myself to Forley. I'm gonna quick travel back to San Gimignano real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't. Um, I'm just double checking something on the map once I'm back. Okay, so... Okay, so it's displaying everything. Oops, map. Okay, there is... Yeah, nothing more here. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and then quickly back to Florence. Let's go back to Leonardo's workshop, even though he's not there and shouldn't it shouldn't be called Leonardo's workshop anymore. But you know, whatever. <laughs> uh... Okay, sorry. I was just quickly checking chat because. I do not necessarily... I cannot necessarily see chat. Um, okay, nothing here. I don't think there's anything at Monteregioni, but I am going to go grab the... I'm going to go grab the money that was there since I'm doing this. Uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to go quickly grab the grab that money and then head back to Forley and we'll get down to business to defeat the Huns yeah that's what I thought that's what I thought that's what I thought okay oh I am so sorry sir Ezio. And I'm going to say hi to Claudia, because I haven't done that the last few times I've come and gotten money. And I always try to say hi to Claudia when I, you know, the conversation doesn't go anywhere, but, you know. Salute, Claudia. Claudia is my favorite, one of my favorite characters. Actually, no. Claudia is my favorite Assassin's Creed uh, Ezio era character. Yep. All right. So I, I earn at the current rate, I earn eleven thousand five hundred and eighty florins every twenty minutes, and I can earn that around four times, three or four times, um, I think three times. So basically, every hour it will max out, and I will have to come back and get it. Otherwise, it won't carry out over more. Um, so this, uh, this shows my completion. That You can see that there's three more sets of armors. One of them is the armor of Altair, which is down inside the uh, Sanctum, which I get by um, by getting all of the... Um, what is it called? The Assassin's Tombs. The Assassin's Tomb Emblems. Um, I have one out of four of the Metal Armor, zero out of four of the Misaglius, I believe. I, Misaglius, whatever. Uh, and then the armor of Altair. If I remember correctly, if you get the tombs f done for first and foremost, and then immediately go back and get the armor of Altair, you can get the armor of Altair before you have any of the the that last non Altair armor armor <laughs> unlocked. Fifteen out of twenty-two weapons. Um, Nineteen out of thirty codex pages. Forty-two out of a hundred feathers, etc., etc., etc. There's a couple of models. Oh, that's a thing that I unlocked um, that I need to show you. I'd mentioned it before uh, the, when I was doing tours that there were a couple of things that you would unlock doing missions automatically that show up. 
Um, so I'll go show that. Um, three out of six seals, which are the the temp the tomb things. I have only five more paintings, which are the ones that when we get to Venice, those are the five that I unlock there. Uh, I love that they have a question mark for the portraits of his of Ezio's targets. <laughs> um, all of that's renovated. All of that's renovated. And voila, there's the summary. All right. A presto, Ezio. A presto. All right. Allons-y. Uh, quickly over here to find the... Here's the weapon racks. Right, here it is. This is the model. It's the model. It's a model of the carriage. Um, you unlock it by doing the carriage side mission thing. This is a model of the carriage I drove. I love that that's literally all it says. <laughs> all right. Basically, they, they're like, we worked really hard on this 3D rendering of this fucking carriage. We are going to put it on display and you can look at it whenever you want. All right. Now I'm out of here. I promise. Back to Forley. Ugh. Time check in. It's three till four. Um, uh, three till four means that it's a uh, very good chance. Okay, so we've got about a little over half an hour until four thirty. I don't know when I'm gonna go to. Maybe four forty-five. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to go too much over four thirty, but because I wasn't. Maybe 20 minutes. Like, I might just go to 5. Ooh! Okay, that's one way to spawn... Uh, one place to spawn me in. Uh, let me go see what this is. The... Avam... The Avamposto Veneziano. Um... One of those strange cliffs Sean mentioned is on this landmark. You should go find it. I shall. Um... This is the port for whatever. Um... You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna talk to... Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. After this conversation, done. I'll, uh... would have done the same. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. To be Ultima fair, bordo. dude, they weren't coming Ma for you. That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Our ferry, okay. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh... Uh... Nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance. Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Oh? Don't just stand there. I need help. I love her. She. This is. This chick is my second favorite. Third. <clears throat> Claudia, Leonardo, and uh, Claudia is, is first. This chick and Leonardo are second. Um. Sorry. I've got a bit of a hangnail there. Um, get a boat. Okay, there's a boat there. Do I want to swim to the boat, or do I want... Is there another way to... Uh, I can only swim to it. Okay. That was graceful. Somebody help me, I can't swim, she says in, in Italian. How can you not... Okay, I mean, I guess it's... Back then it was not very common. Okay, where is she? Over here. Uh, Ezio! I did not say to just... <laughs> Don't make me go full Perry the Platypus, Ezio. Bro, that's, that's right, that's right. I remember how this works. I used to be really good at these. Had to, had to be. Uh, there she is. Oh God, I beg you, somebody put, help me, please help. Well, she didn't say please. It was help me, help. I'm uh, coming. Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. Oh, they do. I wasn't looking to impress. Only Katarina Sforza, whose name we've read a couple of times in some of the entrances. In 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 entries so far. I love her. She's great. Uh, Countess by marriage, Katerina was notorious far before she ever arrived in Forley, 
raised in the court of Milan. She received a classical education while tutored in the art of war by her father, the Duke of Milan. Wow. Um, at court, Caterina also acquired a passion for alchemy. Damn! <laughs> and hunting. Um, she's currently the Countess of Forley. Uh, she was born in 1463, which I believe makes her about about the same age as Ezio. Um, I don't know why, but I thought I, I was under the impression... I've always felt like she was a bit older than him. Like, like 10 years older than him or something like that. But maybe that's just the way they rendered her. I don't know. I don't think I ever masked it out. Uh, when she was 10, uh, became engaged. Yikes. Uh, to the Pope's nephew. Consummated their marriage when she was 14. It was a different time period. I, yikes. I have not read that. Okay. Uh, Pope died... 84, wasted no time, ultimately for the... She, she, exiled to, she was exiled to Florence at some point and died of pneumonia in 1509. Help someone in distress. Which 1509. is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore, but please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. She, she's the Countess of Flor of Forley and can't swim, and yet it's so much water around here. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but still. Yes, Signora. Whatever you say, Signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you. I love her. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forley, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I love her. I look forward to enjoying <laughs> hospitality. Bruh. <laughs> Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. Had I known... <laughs> Quite all right, my friend. Tutti a bordo. All aboard. All aboard! Alright, so next mission up there. So now that I've completed that, I will actually do some running around here. I started to say, at, right before I started the conversation with Leonardo, that every previous time I've played this game, including the first time I ever played this game, I put that conversation with Leonardo off. Like... Until I had done everything else in Forley. Except for stuff that unlocks after that mission. Um, and I always regretted it. Because there can sometimes be a glitch. Oh, man. Well, don't die, Yvonne. Do what you need to do and don't die. Um... But yeah, there, there's a glitch where sometimes, even after you, like, if you let it go for too long, uh, Leonardo will be shouting at you, uh, his, like, he'll say, hey, Ezio, here, over here, and it will, like, subtitle across the entire map, just to be like, you have a mission, come here, you dumbass, type of a thing, and, um, good, you better try, at least try not to, damn, uh, anyway, um, and, uh, but yeah, the... Oops, Ezio. The, um... But yeah, and sometimes if you let that go long enough, it will actually, like, proper glitch and just forever have that subtitle there uh, on, on this map. Like, you can leave and come back and it will still be there forever. Um, sometimes, if you're not careful. Okay. Um, now I heard a feather or something shiny at some point on my way up this tower. Ah! Glyph, right there. Alright, Ezio, drop. Drop, 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 and grab, drop, and grab. Alright, let's go ahead and do this glyph. This is not the glyph we got warned about before. Titans of Industry. Edison Archive. 
Oh, Yvonne, if you're still here, speaking of D&D Beyond, all all source books are currently on sale for um for uh, down to at least $20 each. Uh some are lower than that depending. Um but yeah, th there's some massive sales ha there's some sales happening on D&D Beyond if you're interested. If anybody's interested. Anyway, enter password. Okay, so 917. Okay, and there's a clue here somewhere. Um Ah, Tesla again. Um, and that, I think, is Edison. Man, I love Tesla. Okay, let's see here. Where would the hint be? Um, ah, four equals one. Right there. So, if I change this to... Four is equal to one. And that means that this is four. Okay, and nine is six, I believe. Yes. Sixty-nine. Hey. <laughs> okay, and seven is four. No, it's not. Yes. Yes, it is. Ah, damn it. No, it can't be. Ah, seven is zero. Uh oh. Oh, maybe that way, uh, where 4 equals 1. Okay, so then 1 is 8, 9 is, I knew 69 would have been too easy, 2. 1, 2, and 7 is 4. Four equals one. Oh. No. Okay, because four equals one. Oops. Four equals one. Okay, so nine is two. Oh. Uh, one, gray one is red eight, gray seven is four. Wrong code. Okay, so maybe I was right the first time with it being four equals one. Okay, so then gray nine. Yeah, I, I know what I did. I went red nine. That's what it was. Okay, so gray nine is two. Check. Um, one equals four. And then seven equals zero. There we go. Brain glitch. Um, okay. Dear Mr. Morgan, a serious matter has come to my attention. Nikola Tesla plans to use PE4, Piece of Eden 4, to create an information network across the entire world. Um, his... Oh, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called. Anyway. Um... And if that weren't bad enough, he intends to allow access to it for free because Tesla was a decent fucking person. Imagine the masses spreading knowledge amongst themselves instantaneously. How dare they? That would make everything we intend to do much more difficult. Yeah, Tesla imagined the internet before the internet. You must cut all funds for his experiments at once, which is what happened. He ran out of funding. In case you get cold feet, I'll have you know he wants to make electricity free as well. Also true. He wanted to make it wireless as well. So that, uh, like, um, like what my phone is currently doing, wirelessly charging. Although different because wider distances. But anyway, thereby putting us out of business. Oh, that'd be a shame, you... <sighs> I've already begun slandering Tesla in the press. Just re reallocate his funding, and I'll take care of PE4 myself. Sincerely yours, Thomas Edison. One of the worst fucking people in the world of history. Edison proves dangerous... Uh... Ah, yes. The, the debunked direct current versus AC current. Alternating current. Uh, direct current. That poor elephant. He wanted everyone to know the secret, to set us all free. 
They used it to drive him insane. Poor Tesla. Like, even in reality, Tesla got fucked over. Now for Ford, as in Henry Ford. Yep. Dearborn, a Dearborn Independent. Yep. Model T. Okay. Uh, Alright, so now we're getting a bit harder with um, things missing, and instead of numbers, it's symbols. Okay. Um, okay, so... Dash, dot, dot, uh, dash, dash, dot, dot, and a two. I don't mm, necessarily know if that's the right thing, but I will assume. Let's try it. Okay, dash, dash, dot, dot. All right. Um, that means one is dash, dash, dot. Okay. And three is a blank. That can't be right. Um... We'll see. And nine is also a blank. That can't be right. That can't be right. Um, dash dash dot dot. That is correct. Oh, do I see anything? Hmm. Do we see any ethereal numbers popping up anywhere? Um, hello to viewers, by the way. If I, I'm, I'm currently wor working one monitor down, so I'm having a much harder time keeping track of people entering and exiting the stream. Um, I'm barely I, like I, I, I can only see chat right now because of my phone having it up. Um, so I apologize. Uh, if you've been watching for a while and I haven't addressed you, but, uh, welcome. Okay, so, dash dash dot dot, um, ethereal numbers. I based the two off of the two that's right here, but I don't, that's obviously not correct. Um, I could look it up first time. Oh, there was a number there. What is that? Nope, that's not a number. I think that's an S. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, people. Hold on a second. I have to BRB again. This one is not the same excuse as last time, I promise. I don't... Yeah, no. This can't wait. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Okay, sorry about that. It should be behaving itself now. Um, yeah, no, I, I have my my phone is connected to things like my internet and stuff like that, and uh, it popped up. Sometimes it lets me know when weird things happen, and 
Oh, shoot. I did not mean to do that. Uh, it lets me know when weird things happen, and so... And it got it gave me a uh, notification that basically meant that my internet was about to go out. Um, for whatever reason. Where am I? Oh, I'm going for the database. And let's... Yeah. Uh, do I ha I have to go through it again? Uh, okay. Alright, uh, this was a two... Four... Shit, what was it? Uh... Two... Four... Zero. Oh. Okay. Okay, going through this, popping out all the light bulbs. Ravencroft? Ravenloft? I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, oh no, it was Wardencliff! The Wardencliff experiment! That's right! That's right, the Wardencliff experiment. everyone to know the secret, to set us all free. They used it to drive him insane. Okay. So, all right. So now I'm going to try that. I'm going to try the two one again because that's the only number I've been seeing. Uh, two, and that kind of makes sense because two, two. But anyway, um, yeah, that's the right symbol. Okay, so gray one is two dashes and a dot. A three. Oh, oh, I could just go through and find the missing symbols. Um, okay, so the pattern goes, uh, dot, 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 uh, one dot, two dots, dash. Dash, one dot, probably dash, and two dots. Because every two dots equals a dash. And so when it, we go to three dots is when it gives it a dash. So this would be three dashes, and this would be two, no, not two dashes, but one dash and two dots. Okay, so three is three would be three dashes, um, and nine would be the that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me pull my map back up. Actually, let me swap swap back to chat. Uh, sorry if you. No, oh, hold on. Okay, nobody said anything in chat. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, dear, dear Mr. Edison, I wanted to thank you. Sorry. Uh, I wanted to thank you for letting me you uh, for making for uh, for letting me make use of the PE4 all these years. A mag among among us among several things, I can't read. I was able to convince the workers I was raising their pay to five dollars a day when in fact I gave them a pay cut. Uh, capitalism. Uh, as per instructions, I've shipped it to Europe. Uh, H has it, so I assume the war will begin as soon as he can take over. L we'll let him have his fun, Lord knows. That kind of purge will be good for Europe. Oh, God. And then, it, and, and then end it with a bang as planned. Out of the chaos of war, a new order will emerge... I've enclosed a picture from Florida, from Florida of you, me, and Firestone. I sh we should attempt to spend more time on the golf course this summer. Yours, Henry Ford. And that Edison, Ford, and the one known as Firestone. I don't remember who that is it's supposed to be uh, I can look in a minute anyway H has the PE4 and there was going to be a purge in Europe and he was going to start a war the Templars started World War 2 and the Holocaust yikes I had missed that before Alright, let me... 
quickly Google via stone AC2. Okay. All right. So here's the truth as we've got it so far. I want play all. Okay. So naked people running running somewhere. Come on. Phone, don't do this to me. Okay. Harvey Samuel Firestone was the founder of the fi of the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company, one of the first global marker uh, makers of automobile tires and an important contributor to North America economic growth in the 20th century. So, also, a Templar. Go figure. Capitalists. Templars. Sound about right. Okay. Um, Alright, so that was that. Let me go up and get that viewpoint. I am so sorry that took so long between interruptions and everything. <sighs> Today's been a day. I hope you guys' day has been... You, you, all, everybody else's day has been going well. Aside from the potentiality of Yvonne having... I mean... Not dying is good. Super tired in a matter of minutes? That sounds par for the course for you, to be honest. Without saying it in like a snarky, you know, teasing kind of way at all. Just like general facts I'm glad you're not dying though so if you were gone if you were gone well while, while I was doing the glyph that I just did uh, Henry Ford Templar Thomas Edison Templar uh, Harvey Firestone Templar they used a, they each stole a piece of Eden from uh, they stole a piece of Eden from uh, Tesla and ki and killed his uh, business property uh, progress and um, with, and his inventions and his fundings and stuff and then proceeded to uh, use it for their own gain and then uh, sent it to quote H in Europe where he was going to start a war quote that kind of purge would be good for Europe. Yeah, I know, right? Not surprised at all. Um, it's like Templars are bad, as is capitalist. Uh, as are capitalists and um, capitalism. Uh, I should take that horse. Um, <laughs> your bones because of what's actually happening, or because I'm saying things? Anyway, um, but yeah. So after they were done with the piece of the uh, with the piece of Eden that they took from Tesla, they then sent it to Europe to a man they labeled H, who was going to start a war and uh, do a purge in Europe because that would be good for Europe, and out of the war would boom uh, would come a booming economy and yeah yeah. Hitler was a Templar, and he had a piece of Eden. That's how he started World War II and the Holocaust. So, yay. Yeah, these games don't fuck around, man. And also, straight up, they straight, in the same vein, they're straight up claiming... Oh, come back here. They're straight up claiming that um, uh, Edison, Ford, and uh, no, I'm not going to take up that contract. Ezio. God, dude. Go. Damn it. Ezio. I don't know if it's Ezio or the horse or what, but come on, man. Okay. Anyway. Um...
can't just attribute things to people being shit. I mean... Am I, dreaming this? I mean... Yeah, you can. Um... It's the... The magic, though, is, um... They also gotta have magic... I mean... Uh, technology, but yes. Um... Damn it. Ezio, come on, man. Do what I'm telling you to do. Which is absolutely what you are doing. This is absolutely my fault. Because I'm totally not telling you to do the right things. Because I'm an idiot. And only half paying attention. Um, future magic, yeah, sure. Um, but the... Uh, it's the... They... They're basing the Hitler having a piece of Eden off of the fact that he had based, uh, like, almost an entire nation completely enthralled under his command. And for, like, no l real explainable reason beyond he's just that charismatic. Um, which is not that much of a reason. Because the same thing happened... Uh, the same thing has happened in this country with a much, much, much less charismatic person. And I know that the real-life answer to that is some people are just trash, and when you enable that trash in a public forum, that trash uh, amplifies itself and becomes worse and louder. I know that that's the real-life answer to that, but... They give it a mystical... This is why he had sway over so many faithful followers for so long despite being an absolute shit show of a person himself. And I'm not even talking like the racism and stuff. I'm talking like that he really was not nearly as actually charismatic as he's seen to be. Um, like from all accounts of people who actually were, who knew him and, you know, talked to him and stuff, he was not actually that charismatic on a one-to-one -one basis. It was the, it, it was just the big speeches and the performances on stage that was where his charisma was. But, yeah. Yeah. And I mean... Yeah. I, I'm just... I'm... Yeah. I don't know. It's... I love the insinu... I love the, uh... The, dec the straight-up declaration that some of the... Some of the most egregious capitalists in American history were in the same organization as Hitler and were perfectly okay with him and his plans. Because they are trash. Capitalists are trash. Especially the capitalists of that era, who, no different than the capitalists in our current era, are um, f gutting and fleecing the hell out of people. Because money. Welcome to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed, where he where he cannot avoid pol uh, po uh, politics of the modern day, and has absolutely no problem stating his political his controversial p political and uh, economical opinions online. <laughs> All right, so technically I would be wrapping up the stream now because uh, it's almost 4:30. How uh, because it is 4:30, just turned 4:30. However, I am going to go a bit long because I start I officially started a bit late because of bullshit. So, all right, so that's Okay, I have a viewpoint over here. However, I have a way into town here. So, I'll go here. I'll get this viewpoint. What is this? Oh, that's a codex. Oh, hold on. Let me Okay. Uh, I'll get this viewpoint. I would like to get the three remaining viewpoints and then the tomb if I have enough time. Um, but we'll see. <sighs> but yeah, Yvonne, um, that I believe 
that was I think it was you that I was that I uh, you and a couple other people that I went on this bit uh, this like super self aware uh, uh, what's it called um, tear I guess about uh, about Assassin's Creed being one of the key reasons I am who I what I am today and how I am today. Actually reading the lore and stuff, thinking about it and all of um and all of this, is there any surprise that I have the beliefs I have in regards to um, capitalism and politics and stuff? Get get out of the. There you go, it's you. Assuming you're still here, Yvonne, and not throwing up somewhere. Up and up and up. And up, and up, and up, and up again. Okay. What's this? Assassination contracts. Okay. I'll get that viewpoint, and then... Actually, I'm closer to the tomb. Let me get the tomb. Uh, I don't need the money. I don't need the money. I'm good. I'm good on money. I will forever be good on money the rest of the game, because of the fact that I have Monte Regioni leveled up to the max already. Okay. So I oh 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 the the thing that popped up wasn't a glyph it was a tomb. Um, okay. So now my question is I know I have to get in the water but I don't remember is it on the inside or the outside? I think it's the inside because I think this is it right here. Yep, there it is. And what I'll probably do actually what I can do is I can. Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, we'll, we'll figure out time as as, as I'm going. I was going to say that what I could do, what I was, what I could do is I could uh, save those last couple of uh, viewpoints for after stream and um, when I would do treasure hunting and stuff. But I, I don't know. It depends. I I don't know if I'll have time to do a tomb and one of the uh, assassination, uh, some of the side missions. Anyway. Infiltrate Roca de Ravaldino and find the assassin seal. Okay. I am notorious. Okay, not effective in this area. I would be surprised if it was. Okay. Uh, and then over. Oops, Ezio. Get on the, get on the, there you go. And then there, and then there, and then there, and then there. Okay. And let's pull up. Yoink. Don't mind me, I'm just an idiot. I'm even more of an idiot than I thought I was. Why am I getting a a dingling a dingling a ling a noise? Why am I getting a dingling a ling a ling a noise? Maybe something's on the other side of the wall. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Pull it. Pull the lever! Ezio! That one I blame on you, because when I told you to jump forward, you jumped off to the side. I hate this perspective camera that happens. There we go! Okay. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's what I thought. Up and back, and hey, look, secret area located. All 
Okay. All right. Okay. Do I go up? I don't think I am supposed to go up. I don't think there's a way for me to go up. I don't think. Maybe. Hold on. I know that in the past I go down. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it, it just wants me to go down. And then use Ezio. Oh, it helps if I'm not holding this speed button. Okay. Okay, a bunch of guards. Bunch of guards. All right. Sorry, sir. There would have been screaming all the way down. Okay. All right. Not you. He's there on him. Well, you see nothing. Gone. I'm mad that worked. <laughs> Alright, so I could go up the stairs. Um, or I could just jump up to that. I think I can jump up to that. Um, there was a... There's a guard over there. Wait, there's two. I could bypass them. I don't need to go over there. You see nothing. Which way are you going? Have we met before, amigo? There. All right. Where do you think you're going? Okay. Assassin's Creed, competitive hugging the game. Okay. All right. Ah, aha, aha, ha, ha. This I recognize. Ooh. I also hear a ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. That means there's a secret area nearby. Come on, come on, come over here or go away. Pick one. Losing him. <laughs> Losing me. Not really. Dude, come over here or. There you go. Okay, so I heard a ding a ling a ling. Is the ding a ling a ling in here? Uh, nope, this is progressing forward. Okay. Which means the ding a ling a ling is in here. Which means. Uh, Ezio, I'm holding the up button, not the down button, man. Okay. Now then. <laughs> okay, what, 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 if I go up the stairs, what happens? Where, where is this? A door. A door? Ooh, with stuff on top. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Nope, too high for me to do that. Okay, Ezio. Ezio, auditore da Firenze. Okay, so if I do this, I need to get up there is what I need to do. Um, actually, what it might be leading me to is, uh, that might be the next location, actually. But I heard the ding-a-ling. But I heard the ding-a-ling! Yeah, okay, fine. Um, how did I get up there? Right, this way. Climb. Climb. Yeah, I heard the dingling. Maybe the dingling is above. Yeah. Jump and up and there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so hold on. Let me let me check something. If I yeah, okay, okay. So I'm not quite right where I heard the dingling noise. And it looks like this is telling me to go in another direction. Yeah. Alright, so let, let, let's do some experimenting. Let's do some experimenting. I have time. The time is my own. Okay, so. We do... That. Which lets me through. Oh, 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 idea. If I do that, then I come over here. And then up to that. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. And then there. And then over there. And there's the ding a ling a ling. Secret area located. Pull the lever, Ezio. Ooh, and a door opens. Okay. Pull the lever. To re-trigger the timed gates. Alright. And the next. How hilarious would that have been if he pulled that out of the wall? <laughs> okay. Can't go that way. More guards. Why are there always more guards? Find the burial chamber. The, the burial, the bur burial. Oh! Uh, you. We start with flames and a little amputation. Come on. Before hanging from the signoria. Get on. Okay. So that could have been worse. It was worse than I'd hoped, but it was, could have been worse. Okay. Let him go on his way. I can get up there. I should try to get up there. Let me get up there. Okay, so he is... Okay. Oh, there's secrets up here. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't recall. Okay, so there's people down there. Uh, no, oh, no obvious secrets. Okay. Um, so let's do that. You're mine now. I don't think that other guard comes close enough. Maybe. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> nope. Okay. That, uh, where gone? Not that way. Not that way. Not that way. Not that way. <sighs> okay. All right. Hi, horses. Okay, so if I had just taken the stairs, this would have led me down here anyway. Okay, and a ladder goes up there. Okay, 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 okay. Um. <laughs> key, key, key. Alright. And up here. Anything down there? Nope. Okay. 
over, up, oop, over, over, and across. Anything over here that I could possibly lead to a secret? Nope. Okay. Well, now I just have to, quote unquote, find the burial chamber again. Alright, so I know what I need to ultimately do. I need to pull that thing, it causes a thing, and then I go up to find a gate. However, what is in here? Ah. Hmm. Okay. Shall we? Ooh. Okay, now. Up, 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 up. Nope, nope, nope. Ezio, Ezio. Ah! One more. Come on. There you go. Up. I don't think I made it. Oh, nope, I did. Yay! First try. <sighs> Cheers. All right. Let me get the chests. This is the tomb of... Oh, the Mongolian guy, whose name I'm forgetting. Kuyin something? I don't remember. I think it was Mongolian. It might say here in a second. Here's the secret door. Okay. Yes, Kulangal. Kulangal, not Kuyin. Kulin. Kulin, I think it's. I, I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm probably butchering that. And I apologize to anybody who actually knows the language. Hey, Yvonne, are you still here? Or did you dip on me again? Okay. Alright. Right next to a blacksmith so that I can quickly repair. Alright. That should do, I hope. And please. Come back often. And you know what? It's 50. Almost 50. Let's call it there. Uh, let me get out of the street. Money. Alright. I'm probably going to play some more of this, do some treasure hunting and the like, uh, tonight. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on what else I have going on. I do have to prep for tomorrow's stream as well. But, let's pose dramatically and then let me do this okay yeah all right so hi guys <laughs> uh man uh sorry give me just a second i'm dismissing some notifications on my phone so that oops i didn't mean to do that oh well it's fine it's fine it's fine um all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I I went a little late because I had because I started rather late, um. But uh, so I'm wrapping this up, and uh, uh, if you have missed most of the stream or parts of the stream or whatever, uh, remember that the VOD of the stream will be going up on YouTube. Hopefully, no later than tomorrow morning. Um, also available on my YouTube is every prior stream Assassin's Creed One. Uh, as well as um, an older, a much older playthrough of Mirror's Edge. I will, I will stream Mirror's Edge itself eventually because it's so fun. Um, and Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I, I love both of those games so much, and they're just so chill. I love them. The music in them both are so perfect. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, so check those out on YouTube. Uh, the Crimson. Uh, 
Crimson plays Assassin's Creed. Uh, Assassin's Creed 1 is on there, as well as every Assassin's Creed 2 stream up till the, cre the present. Um, I will try to get that up no later than tomorrow morning. Um, I've been trying to get it up before midnight. Uh, and I've succeeded the last two streams. We'll see if I can keep that going. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the link to my YouTube is, um, in the chat. It's in my link tree and it, and it's down below. Um, if you're on YouTube, it's, it's down in the description. If you're on Twitch, it's down in the links section. It's down there. You can find it. It's in places. My link tree is link tree slash Crimson Knight. Same, spelled the exact same way as I have it on my Twitch account and everything else. Um, but yeah, I've also put it in the Twitch chat using Nightbot. So that's there. Um, and if you and if you are actually watching this on YouTube, I really appreciate it. I do. I, I see you guys. Um, uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Um, please, I I would I really appreciate you guys. Uh, the few, the those of you who watch the who watch these on YouTube. Um, oh, and hey, if you come back tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, U.S. Central Time. Uh, I, you'll see me here again, um, for more Tomb Raider Tuesdays, barring technical difficulties. I hope this is not a trend for this week. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll be continue play, uh, continuing my playthrough of the classic Tomb Raider. Uh, we'll be, I didn't get very far in the Palace of Midas, so we'll be hopefully finishing that off. Um, I don't remember what it was that delayed me oh i talked way too long at the start of the stream last stream for tomb raider tuesdays that's what it was um and it took me way too long to actually get started playing the game <laughs> uh anyway um so yeah uh we'll be hopefully finishing off the palace of midas's palace uh figuring out what those lead bars i've been collecting are are for and all of that stuff um if you come back, uh, so yeah, that's tomorrow here uh, on my Twitch channel at 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time. It's where you will see me. Um, if you don't know my, if you are watching on YouTube and don't know my Twitch URL, it's down below in my in my link tree and all of that. Um, Crimson Crimson Night Gaming. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, and just like with <clears throat> just like with this stream and every other stream that I've been doing, the VOD will be going up on my YouTube afterwards. Um, beyond that, tune in next week at around 2.30 p.m. Central Time uh, for more Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed 2. Um, before we go, though, uh, you should you should follow me on my socials. Um, you should. You really should. Um, it's where I post updates, and uh, I can, I, I, I'll interact with people and uh, things like that. Um, one of the big things I need to do is actually start promoting myself um, more than I have been. I have been, haven't really been, but I need to. Um, I've got a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, um, DeviantArt. I don't think my DeviantArt is on there, though. Might be. I don't remember. It's all on my link tree. Uh, and the link tree, is, the link to my link tree is in the chat right now. It's also down below, you know, all the places. Um, in fact, it is now on screen. And <laughs> I don't know why I snapped my finger just then. Whatever. Anyway, um, it is now on screen down, uh, down here at the bottom, at the bottom of things down here. Um, link tree doc. Oh, you can't really read that very well, can you? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Let's, uh, let's just do, you know what? Uh, transition and then studio mode off. There we go. I'll just do this. I'll do it live. I usually use studio mode to uh, for these things, but yeah. Um, there it is. Link my link tree, Crimson Knight, as I said. Uh, so you can find all my links there and all my important information there and stuff like that. I update my socials, I interact on Discord, and all of that. Speaking of Discord, I have one. Um, 
its link is now in the chat. It's also down below, and as I keep saying, it's on my link tree. Um, so come hang out there. Um, and everyone, beyond that, everyone should check out my friends uh, Yvonne B. She was in the chat earlier, or has been in the chat, in and out, because um, life is busy. And she hasn't been feeling very good, which sucks. So, you know, keep, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, Yvonne B., Melador, Eternity, and Cosplay Katie, who are the other people on this beautiful, wonderful list here. Um, and uh, you should follow them. You should check them out. All of their... Uh, that's the wrong side of the camera. All of the... Uh, all of them. They're all awesome. Um, <laughs> they're all in... The links to them are all in my link tree, and they're down below, and they're here, and they're there, and they're everywhere. Um, but, yeah, Yvonne streams uh, every Friday and Sunday, with the occasional Wednesday and Thursday being a takeover by her boyfriend, Howie. He, um, damn it. Sorry. Um, lost my... Stop it, phone. There we go. Um, on Fridays, on Fridays when she streams around 3 p.m. Eastern time, um, Eastern, not Central. She's she's in she's on the wrong. Uh, I mean, she's in a different part of the country than I am. Um, which is about so it's about 2 p.m. Uh, Central time. Anyway, uh, she's on here playing. Uh, she's been she's played Tales of Symphonia, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, things like that. Um, lately, she's been folk. She's been uh, she had a a fundraiser live stream beginning of November where she uh, when it, when they hit their goal. Excuse me. Uh, when they hit their goal, she was going to play. Um, uh start a playthrough of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And so she's been doing that uh as her main thing on Fridays. Um <clears throat> so check her out 3 p.m. Friday for some Legend of Zelda. Um on Thursdays or when at Wednesdays or Thursdays when uh when her boyfriend takes over, he he plays uh Factorio uh sometimes with a f um with someone named Mr. Uh, Mr. Generic name. Uh, he sometimes pops in the chat. Uh, sometimes he's hanging out. Sometimes he's around. Um, but he's great. They're both great. And Factorio is Factorio. If you're familiar with it. If you're not, then, you know, whatever. Anyway. Um, oops, 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 oops. I totally forgot to do something. There we go. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, Thursday, Wednesday slash Thursday. Uh, keep an eye on her on her channel and her information for more on that. On Sundays, though, Yvonne, uh, in the past, Yvonne has done an island tour um, on Animal Crossing New Horizons, where she goes to various people's islands and they show her around while in her Discord and things like that. Um, though this last Sunday, she did a kind of like a tech demo type of a thing. Showing off her setup for for Streamlabs and stuff like that. Um, so basically, Sundays are her what the fuck ever stream. Uh, seems like to me. And if she were in the chat, she would be pissy with me about that probably. But yeah, her link tree is in the chat. Um, it's down below, etc. Her Twitch is also in there in that those places of information, etc. Um. Next on the list is Melador. He streams Mondays and Wednesdays, um, starting at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, in the past, he's played Stardew Valley, Frostpunk, Subnautica, and uh, a few other things. Uh, he's but recently he he's been doing a play th playthroughs of Baldur's Gate 3, and was fo has been focusing on that. However, I believe he's close to his uh, to the completion of his Alpha Access thing. On, uh, on on for that game, which means he may be he'll have to be moving on to something else. So he may be beginning to play something else too. Um, oh, he's also been doing a lot of phasmophobia. In fact, he and I have been talking, and I may be doing a phasmophobia stream at some point um, with him. But uh, pay attention to my socials for more information on that. Um, 
because we're still we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants while we try to figure it out. Um, and uh, but yeah, his uh, URL is in the chat down below. All the places, it's in all the places. Check him out. Um, next up is Eternity. Um, he streams pretty often too. Um, he's been trying to get on a more a more solid schedule than he was in the past. Um, two to six on Wednesdays Eastern. Two to six p.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays. Uh, he play. He usually plays some kind of a multiplayer game. Um, he mentions. He mentioned uh, to me COD specifically, Call of Duty, uh, specifically. Um, he's also played on and on six from six to ten p.m. Sunday. I'm assuming p.m. could be a.m. I don't know. I don't recall which which he said. I just have six to ten here. Anyway, uh, six to ten on Sundays are RPG days. Um, so things like Outer Worlds. I saw him playing that uh yesterday. Um, his URL is on screen in the chat down below. All the places. Um, so make sure to check him out. Last up is cosplay Katie. Um, she is awesome. She is a cosplayer. Um, uh, if you couldn't tell by the name, she um. She's cosplayed things like Harley Quinn and Siri from Witcher and things like that. Um, she streams, too. Sometimes she does it in cosplay. Uh, she's got an adorable dog, a corgi named Desmond, because she also loves the Assassin's Creed series. Um, and, uh, yeah, she started. She was going to start playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla last week because she actually uh, started streaming. It. She's, she had to take some time off because of life go figure um but she last week she started streaming again as that and has actually said that she's going to try to actually get on a schedule a proper schedule again um in fact um over the weekend or something like that i forget when she posted it she posted a picture um on her instagram normally what she does is she up up updates her instagram with her a picture of her in cosplay and then says when she's streaming when her next stream will be in that same post um i checked earlier and i could not find the post so she may have edited that to change it but when she originally posted it i made a note of it that she was planning on streaming at tuesday uh tuesday at 4 p.m eastern uh so that's 3 p.m central time um so before my stream she'll probably overlap with my stream because i don't because i think she just goes until she stops but that's assuming that she hasn't had to cancel that stream i don't know um so keep an eye on her channel and her instagram for more information about that um she may be playing assassin's creed valhalla which is the most recent game that came out this year literally this year uh, like a couple months ago or a month ago um i don't even have it yet mainly because i'm waiting till after christmas um uh, and money is a thing. But anyway, um, what else was I going to say? Uh, other than that, she has been playing some Witcher 3. Uh, she plays WoW. She plays a lot of WoW. Um, and uh, <laughs> she spent last stream, uh, last week, uh, her stream, she started streaming during uh, my Tomb Raider Tuesday of last week. And I realized that she was on when I was ra uh, in the middle of wrapping up my stream for that night. And I took a little, while well, I was uh, doing some post-stream wrap-up, um, like downloading the VOD and stuff like that, the VOD. Um, I don't know why I keep calling it VOD, probably because I'm crazy like that. Anyway, while downloading that, I noticed that she was on, and so I popped her on in the background while I was working. And um, she spent a lot of time talking about, uh, like, examining and talking about characters' toes in <laughs> World of Warcraft. It was great. It was funny. Uh, anyway, um... So check her out. She's awesome. And again, links on screen, down below, in the chat, all the places. Um, if you can't find one, just let me know. Tweet me, message me, poke me on on social media, on Discord, whatever, you know. If you need to find something or want some other suggestions of streams to follow for varying other things, I've got plenty of suggestions. Let me know and I'll, and I'll, um, I'll let you know. Um, or if you don't want to mess with any of that, you can just pop in here at, on any regular time and, um, at any time that they may be streaming that I've said or any other time, cause I will be hosting them whenever they end up going live. Um, and as long as there are no conflicts of 
timing and stuff. Like uh, Sunday Yvonne and Eternity overlapped a little bit. But anyway, um, this last little bit is very important. So make sure you pay close attention to this. Very close attention. Remember that you matter. Don't forget that. You are important. You are loved. And you deserve love. In these rough, dark times, you have to take care of yourself. Taking time off from from anything, work, uh, uh, life, you know, social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever, taking time off of it for your mental health is a good thing. Your physical and mental health matters. Both are important. I know things may be looking a bit more hopeful right now, depending on which side of the line you land, you stand on. Hey, welcome, generic. Welcome. Uh, it's probably a good thing you missed the stream today. It's been a hot mess. I've been having a bit of a day. <laughs> I've been having a bit of a day. I'm a monitor down, and, and because my other monitor has not been turning on, and yeah, I don't want to get into it. But it, I'm glad you made it, though. I, I am glad that you're alive. Um, yeah, I, 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 I need to, I would have messed with it earlier, but I was getting too close to the wire for the stream, so I just had to wait. Um, I made do. Took me a while, but I made do. Um, that's why I'm still live now rather than earlier. I am glad you made it, though. I am glad that you made it. Um, and like I said, I am glad you're alive. <laughs> it's a good thing. Anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, things may be getting, uh, things may be starting to get better, but we still have a, we, we have a long way to go moving on from, uh, the last four years, um, repairing what damage we can repair and hoping that the damage we can't repair doesn't get any worse. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. Um, but Take the time you need. Celebrate. Relax, you know? Don't breathe easy for a bit. You know? Give yourself that permission. Um, unfortunately, we can't stay relaxed because, as I said, there is a lot that needs to get done. And we have to make sure that we hold even... Like, we always have to hold the people in power accountable. We ha always have to. We can't let them get complacent. And we have to make sure they follow through with the things they've said they would. It's going to be an uphill fight the entire time. But we can do it together. Uh, if you need them, I have crisis resources available in my link tree. Um... They are uh, links for... Unfortunately, they're only available in the United States of America. Um, if you're outside the United States and need help, Google will provide you with resources for your needs in your country. Um, uh, there are resources for domestic violence, uh, suicide prevention, uh, substance abuse. I need to fix that because that's a little wonky. But anyway, substance abuse... Um, sexual assaults, you know, d domestic violence, as I said, they're, they're in my, they're in my link tree. They're in the chat though. The, I apologize. The URL, I just noticed the URLs are a little wonky for Nightbot, So I need to do, take care of that. But, um, and they're also down below on my, in my YouTube, uh, description. If you're watching this there, um, but yeah, if you need, if you need help, ask, Ask for it, you know, and these these resources will be able to help you. Um, wear a mask, wash your hands, keep at least six feet away from each other because COVID-19 is still here and it's going to get worse because of the holidays and the election. And uh, with all the news of the vaccines potentially coming, people have gotten more uh, reckless and careless and carefree and things like that. Um, so it's, it's just going to get worse before it gets better. Um, but you know, 
especially because despite the change in leadership, there are still people in power that, who are brushing the pandemic off as if it's nothing to fucking worry about. But, you know, by all the people who are dying on a daily basis, we know that it is something to worry about. Um, so, if you, and if you've been paying even the most, the most smallest bit of attention, you will see that. Um, be safe, be kind, and be empathetic towards those around you. Just because they are wearing a mask doesn't mean that they are safe from you. They're protecting you by wearing that mask. And it's only right that you show them the same level of respect and consideration. Have empathy. Be kind. Love yourself and everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.